Hey guys, my name is Andrew and I just wanted to go over a few products that I've gotten recently from Voyager's Canine Apparel. And this is my dog, Trigger. Uh, he is a Rhodesian Ridgeback Retriever Mix. And um, he's, uh, he's a new addition to the family. Here you go, buddy, good boy. He's a new addition to the family and we wanted to get him some, some good quality uh, coats for being in the elements. So as you can see, he has on the Voyager's Canine Apparel, <laughs> give me the treats. He has the Voyager's Canine Apparel tummy warmer on right now. This is a genuine uh, Polar Tech fleece that's stretchy, it's warm. Uh, as, as it fits on them, it's, it has a very secure fit that they feel very comfortable with. And um, he, he really likes having it on around the house. He doesn't ever try and take it off or anything. Um, so, you know, we really like having it. One thing to note with these, especially when it comes to the fleece, is that when you have a, a dog with lighter hair um, and you have the tummy warmer or fleece that's darker, it tends to show the hair more on the fleece. So if, if you have a, a darker hair dog, obviously a, a lighter colored fleece may not be the best idea. We got this color just because we like it, but it, it does show his hair a little bit. He doesn't shed that much at all, but you will notice it. Um, so moving on, I have a little cheat sheet here, so I hope you don't mind. Uh, but we have the Voyager's Canine Apparel. Oh, hey, bud. We have the Voyager's Canine Apparel uh, raincoat. The raincoat is made out of a nylon Taslan waterproof shell. This shell is a microporous breathable waterproof layer that um, it was specifically used to prevent um, when water droplets fall on, on uh, shells sometimes. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Place, 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 good boy. So when, when water falls on shells, sometimes they, they make a, a, a tapping sound which can be really annoying to dogs, especially when it's above their ears. So this was designed to kind of prevent that. And um, they, uh, from what I've seen so far, it, it seems to work really well. He's comfortable with having it on. So starting from the front, you've kind of got a, uh, a generous, you've got a generous fit raincoat, uh, you know, and you can use it uh, pretty easily for layering over the Polar Tech fleece um, tummy warmer. But starting at the front, you have a little chin strap here, I guess. Um, it's, it's meant to cinch down the hood in the front position, or even if you want it off of his face and, and neck, you can bring it back. Coming back along here, you have a, um, a collar opening. So you can run the leash right through there. You don't have to mess around or get crazy trying to get your leash on your dog. And um, that, that can also be customized. So if you have a harness, you can, you know, have an opening requested how many, you know, you can, what, what's the word I'm looking for? You can tell them how far the opening back you want it. So if you have a different harness, you can customize that, which is really nice. All of these, uh, all of these coats or their entire apparel line have their um, logo right here. It's very professional looking, very clean, and it sits on the right-hand side of the dog, uh, vary, varying exactly where it is, but it will be on the right-hand side. You have two straps here. And the reason you have two straps instead of one is you'll notice they go uh, both ways. And one is, uh, actually with this, they're both the same, but they're meant to counterbalance each other so that when the dog's running, um, 
it's not going to be shifting sideways on them, so you don't have to readjust it all the time. Moving back, we have the reflective strip you see here. And this reflective strip obviously is for, you know, when you're running on the side of the road or you want your dog to be visible. It's really good to have a visible dog, especially at night, obviously, um, for passerbys and whatnot. So looking at the inside, this is a mesh. The mesh was put in here to uh, allow a breathable, com comfortable next to fur for the dog. Uh, it allows airflow in and um, keeps the air moving in there. So that's uh, a, a nice feature. And um, with, with these coats, I, I'm very impressed uh, with the quality with the the turnaround time i i, I want to mention the turnaround time because it was insane i ordered or i sent in the measurements on wednesday morning and got the coats on friday afternoon so i was pretty blown away by the turnaround time they don't guarantee any kinds of turnaround times because certain times of year are very very busy for them like winter so they don't guarantee any turnaround times, but I was really just blown away just because for a custom coat that is designed to fit a specific breed, uh, I, I, I don't even know how they did that. So I was very impressed by that. Um, yeah, so that's the rain coat. And then I have the winter coat here. The winter coat uses the same materials as the raincoat on this portion of it. This is the uh, that nylon Tazline fabric again, so it's waterproof. It's this is designed for cold, wet conditions, whereas the raincoat was designed for more wet conditions. So obviously, if you live someplace warm and it's pouring out, that's what you use. But if you live somewhere cold, this is. The, uh, this is the way to go for sure. It has Polar Tech fleece up front. Um, and th these are, I believe, gray is standard um, for the winter coats. But I've seen, I, I believe there's, there's custom, you can order custom colors as well. But the neck, I, I, I guess this is kind of a neck gaiter, but yeah, so the neck gaiter, um, in front of the chest and then on the inside is all Polar Tech fleece. Um, this is the same, it's, it's stretchy, it's, it's very comfortable. It has the same, it has the same collar opening here. Um, logos right here. And then it has the, the main belly band here, which you can see is much thicker and it's also lined with Polar Tech fleece, and on the other side, you have the counterbalance strap. So one's meant for warmth, one's meant to counterbalance. Uh, the entire inside is lined with the Polar Tech fleece, making this very, very warm. And then on the back end, you have that same reflective strap. So, I mean, obviously these these coats have been designed with years of experience and you know people's dogs liking certain things and they, you know they've they've really done a great job um, designing everything the the stitching is is just top-notch it's it's great great quality and it's made here in the USA which is another good thing um, so on top of the tummy warmer the raincoat and the winter coat we have the booties now the booties um, are ordered in sizes of, I believe, small, medium, small and medium, and then large and extra large. So there's two sizes, and they have this. Uh, it's 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 almost a rubbery material. It looks very very durable um, for you know snow and ice or you know whatever conditions you're in. Um, especially like when you get in the winter time, you got ice on the roads or sidewalks and then salt and sand. You definitely want to keep that off of the dog's 
feet. Um, and so beyond that rubbery material, you have more Polar Tech fleece, which will keep their feet and legs warm. And then you have these Velcro closures that you can cinch around the dog's legs to keep them on. Um, I, this, uh, this came with some directions uh, to use so you don't, um, you don't put all the, all the boots on at the same time. And you know, you'll notice when you, you put them on, the dogs will walk really funky. Well, you're supposed to introduce to that, them to them slowly so they get used to it. And um, yeah, so this is a this is kind of my overview of the products themselves. Again, I don't have a whole lot of experience with them being used, but we we definitely plan on taking him uh, backpacking and stuff like that. So this will be really useful for us, and this stuff should last a very very long time, judging by the quality of. The materials and the stitching. Um, I just I wanted to make this video to kind of be informative for people that had questions about the products themselves and hopefully it answered a few questions. Oh one more thing the on the bottom side of the coat uh, I was a little concerned about this kind of getting in the way for when the dog you know does his business so I didn't want, you know, a bunch of pee stuck in, in the fleece and stuff, but I'll roll in some pictures, but uh, it's completely clear of that area. So you don't have to worry about um, bringing in a coat that's full of dog pee. So that's a, that's a plus. All right. Thanks guys for your time. And uh, I hope you learned something from this video.